Verses 40 to 72. How often they rebelled against him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. They tested God again and again and provoked the Holy One of Israel. 
they did not remember his power, or the day when he redeemed them from the foe. When he performed his signs in Egypt, and his marvels in the fields of Zoan, he turned their rivers to blood, so that they could not drink of their streams. He sent among them swarms of flies, which devoured them, and frogs, which destroyed them. He gave their crops to the destroying locust, and the fruit of their labor to the locust. He destroyed their vines with hail, and their sycamores with frost. He gave over their cattle to hail, and their flocks to thunderbolts. He let loose on them his burning anger, wrath, indignation, and distress, a company of destroying angels. He made path for his anger. He did not spare them from death, but gave their lives over to the plague. He struck down every firstborn in Egypt, the first fruits of their strength in the tents of Ham. Then he led out his people like sheep and guided them in the wilderness like a flock. He led them in safety so that they were not afraid, but the sea overwhelmed their enemies. And he brought them to his holy land to the mountain which his right hand had won. He drove out nations before them. He apportioned them from a possession and settled the tribes of Israel in their tents. Yet they tested and rebelled against the Most High God and did not keep his testimonies, but turned away and acted treacherously like their fathers. They twisted like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places. They moved him to jealousy with their idols. When God heard, he was full of wrath, and he utterly rejected Israel. He forsook his dwelling at Shiloh, the tent where he dwelt among mankind, and delivered his power to captivity, his glory to the hand of the foe. He gave his people over to the sword and vented his wrath on his heritage. Fire devoured their young men, and their young women had no marriage song. Their priests fell by the sword, and their widows made no lamentation. Then the Lord awoke as from sleep, like a strong man shouting because of wine, and he put his adversaries to rout. He put them to everlasting shame. He rejected the tent of Joseph. He did not choose the tribe of Ephraim, but he chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loves. He built his sanctuary like the high heavens, like the earth, which he has founded forever. He chose David, his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds. From following the nursing hues, he brought him to shepherd Jacob, his people, Israel, his inheritance. With upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. Game.
As followers of Jesus Christ, we are gathered to worship and confess our beliefs. We believe that the Bible, as originally written, was God-breathed both verbally and in every part. It is the final authority of our faith and lifestyle. We believe in one God, the creator of heaven and earth, that in the unity of the Godhead, there are three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe that the Lord Jesus Christ, God's Son, was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of a virgin. He lived a sinless life, died and rose from the dead, ascended bodily into heaven, and is coming again to rapture his saints and establish his kingdom. We believe that the Holy Spirit is a divine person, equal with the Father and the Son and of the same nature. We believe man was created by a direct act of God and not from a previously existing form of life. By voluntary transgression, he fell from his state of innocence. Consequently, all men are no sinners by nature and by choice. We believe salvation of sinners is divinely initiated, holy of grace and accomplished only through the mediatorial work of the Son of God. It is not of works or religion. We believe in the local church and the universal church, which is the body of Jesus Christ. We believe water baptism is the single immersion of a believer in water. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to show his identification with Christ in his death, burial, and resurrection. It can do nothing for his salvation. We believe that the Lord's Supper is a commemoration of his death until he comes. We believe in the bodily resurrection of the just and the unjust. Believers by faith in Christ will spend eternity in the presence of God, unbelievers in everlasting punishment. We believe that every believer should live for God and separated from the world, and by the aid of the Holy Spirit, should walk in Christian love and holiness. We believe that Jesus Christ commands his church to make disciples of every nation. We believe that the greatest thing man can do for himself is to love God above all, and the greatest thing he can do for others is to show them how to love God above all. Christian soldiers rise and press the battle ear the night shall veil the glowing skies against the foe and veils below let all our strength be hurled fate is the victory we know that overcomes the world faith is the victory faith is the victory Shouts of triumph trod By faith they like a whirlwind spread Swept on on every field The faith by which they conquer death Is still our shining shield Faith is the victory Faith is the victory Oh, glorious victory That overcomes the world Faith is the victory. Faith 
Faith is the victory Mga utod, mayong aga, padayon kita sa pagtuon sa pulong sa ginoo. Dili sa 1 Peter, kagali na kita sa 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 18 to 22. Sa mga nagliligad nga Domingo, nagtuon kita nga ang 1 Peter, ginsulat ni Apostle Pedro, nga disipulo ni Jesus Christ, sa mga kristuhanon nga nag-suffer sa Asia Minor. Kagin-remind niya nga kinahanglan nga sila may right perspective or right mindset kag obey sila sa ginoo kay ara na sila sa kay Kristo Jesus. Kag kinahanglan uh, magpakita man kita sa maayong nga testimony especially sa iba nga tawo kag ang area gid nga dapat na ito ipakita ining tahong nga testimonyo naton amo ang area sa submission. So gintunan naton dito ang pag-submit sa aton nga gobyerno, ang pag-submit sa aton nga mga earthly masters, kag ang pag-submit naton sa isa kag isa sa aton panimalay, kag ang pag-submit man sa isa kag isa sa church. Kay amo ini si Jesus Christ amo ang aton nga model. Siya ang nagpakita kung paano mag submit kag last time intunan man naton ang pila ka mga kamatuoran nga ibutang naton sa aton huna-huna <laughs> ipaslak naton sa aton paminsaron especially kung nagago through kita sa mga suffering sa aton kabuhi and we said last time nga ang mga sufferings uh, blessing ina no kag ikaduwa hindi ina mangin rason nga mahadlokan kita o kon mahayang hag o kon ginambal man naton nga ang mga pagtilaw is actually an opportunity to honor Christ or to preach Christ pagid kag amo pagid ini ang aton maayo nga konsyensya amo ang aton nga best defense no kon kon maayo ang aton pagrespond during times of persecutions, during times of sufferings, ang aton batasan mismo amo ang magadipinsa kag magbutang sa kawianan sa mga tawo nga gusto maguba sa aton. Kagin hambal man aton nga since nga tanan-tanan man gi kita distinct to suffer kay ara kita sa uh, tawhanon or tawhanon or temporary nga nga lawas kinanglan ma-decide na lang kita to do good rather than evil kay ti kun nagga-struggle ka ko may nag persecute sa imo ti ano <laughs> ano awayon mo man kay kabalugit kita nga ang diferensya ya sa aton nga mga Kristohanon nga suffering kag sa suffering sa mga unbelievers amo ini ang aton nya mga sufferings may bayad ang aton mga sufferings ya may may reward dito sa langit sa mga wala iya nagatuo kay Jesus Christ ang ilaya suffering will continue to be suffering even sa sunod nga kabuhi ano pa si Jesus Christ there are sa Mark chapter 10 verse 30 nagsiling siya sa tanan-tanan no sa tanan-tanan nga nagsunod sa iya <laughs> uh, nga nagbiya sa uh, tanan siling niya will not receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecution and in the age to come eternal life. Ang tanan nga nagbiya bangod sa kausa ni Jesus kag sang gospel amo ini ang reward dako dako. 
Dako, dako. Ano pa? Ginambal natin last time dito. Never worry nor feel sorry when suffering for God's glory. It is only temporary but to be enjoyed for all eternity. Gani mo na, no? Mga utod, kung nag-go through kita sa mga suffering sa aton kabuhi, kabay pa, nga padayon lang git kita. Padayon lang git kita. Bangod sa mga encouragement sa pulong sang ginoo. Now, nagapati ako, kagkabaluban ako, nga nagapati ka man, nga wala sang success. <laughs> nga dako o kon achievement nga makuha o kon progreso nga matabo sa isa ka tawo kon hindi sila kay balo mag suffer <laughs> kon sa mga gabay gamay lang gid nga mga kabudlayan give up na sila in fact kadamo sa mga billionaire kag seemingly successful sa mata naton bilang tawo diri sa kalibutan nga wala sila nakalabot sa kun sa diin sila subong kun wala sila nag go through some sufferings yung mga ang mga sports personalities no? ang sagad-sagad mag basket pila na kauras ang gina ginabutang nila sa sa ila nga pag practice like every day ham, uh, hampang lang gid practice lang gid o kun ang mga naga ang naga ubra bala sa mga kanta no sa so mga record ga record kanta hindi na na yang isa ka kanta okay na kapila na yan sulit-sulitod 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 until ang perfect na pangkanta ma mahimo or basilay man kita bisan kaday Bill Gates na no kaday Mark Zuckerberg grabe man ina ila na agyan nga kun nag nagpariwas lang sila sa aton nga dasig lang gid mag give up ah Uh, ano ayhan wala siguro sa Facebook wala man sang Microsoft Nagbangod sini <laughs> gusto ko man nga i-impress sa aton tanan nga amo man ina sa spiritual life naton wala sang Kristohanon nga maka-accomplish greater things of course grace man ina sang Ginoo wala sang Kristohanon nga maka-provide bigger impact sa lives sang others kung hindi kita willing mag-suffer, hindi kita gusto nga mag-endure persecutions. Kay bagapati ako nga maka-accomplish kita greater uh, greater uh, reward or greater para sa glory sa ginoo kung naga-endure kita till the end. Kagamuin na, ang gusto pagid i-share ni Jesus Christ ni Apostle Pedro sa aton based sa ginhimo ni Jesus Christ sa aton. Si Jesus Christ naka nag-accomplish ang isa ka dako-dako nga butang para sa aton. Kag ina nag-suffer gid siya. So if you have your Bibles with you, kindly open sa 1 Peter chapter 3 verses 18 to 22. Kagbasahon na ako ini, ang pulong sa ginoo na gasiling, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that He might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit, in which He went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey, when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, While the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is eight persons, were brought safely through water. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience, in which a few, that is eight persons, were brought safely through water. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers having been subjected to him. Mga utod, si Peter, 
Nag-encourage naman diri sa mga Kristohanon to continue despite of the sufferings because Jesus suffered and it could, uh, and it resulted to a great accomplishment. Kaga mo ini sa Sininga passage, ano ang na-accomplish ni Jesus Christ because willing siya mag-suffer. Ang una sa tanandira mo ini, Jesus Christ brought us back to God. For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that He might bring us to God. Sa una, sa una na pahila yung ita, no? we are like sheep that have gone astray. Pero now, ara na kita, ginbalik niya kita sa ginoo. Kagpaano yan na ginhimo? Bawag ka nagsuffer siya. Kag according dali kay Peter, Apostle Peter, una sa tanan, ang iya pag-suffer, he did it once and for all. Christ also suffered once for sins. Romans chapter 6 verse 10, For the death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. But when Christ appeared, Hebrews 9 11, but when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that, that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, securing an eternal redemption. Abi na, abi ninyo, pwede mo lang na si Jesus nga. Nga hindi ka lang pag once and for all the previous mula sa time ni, ni Moses, pasakripisyohon niya lang, no? padaloon niya lang kita baka, padaloon niya lang kita mga, ano na, mga karnero, padaloon niya lang kita sa mga kanding, or ano-ano dira ng mga sacrifice. Para daw parehos pa lang sa time ni ni Elijah, no? Parehos sa time kanday Elisha. Pero sa iya yang akaluoy, <laughs> nagsakripisyo siya kagintapos niya ini. He did it once and for all so that hindi nakit naton pagpangabudlayan ng aton nga kaluwasan. He secured an eternal redemption para sa aton tanan. Nga, kay nag-suffer siya. Ikaduwa mo ini. Isa ka truth pag-ed. <laughs> pag bakabalik sa ginoo sa aton, amo ini, nag-suffer siya though we are not worthy. For Christ also suffered once for sins. The righteous, siya ang righteous for the unrighteous. Sinig sa 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20, Therefore, we are ambassadors for Christ. God, making His appeal through us, we implore you in behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, He made Him to be seen who knew no sin, so that in Him, we might become the righteousness of God. <laughs> even though wala siya sang sala wala siya gani na balan gid ya nga sala nga nahimo yet he became sinful in our behalf para kita makaangkon sang pagkamatarong sang Ginoo kagari pagid <laughs> he suffered kag amo ini napatay gid siya ya. he died for Christ also suffered once for sin the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. Being put to death in the flesh. Romans chapter 5 verse 6, For while we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. But God shows his love for us, in that while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. Hindi <laughs> kita yatarong ara pakitaya sa aton mga kasalanan and yet 
Ipakita niya ang pagpalangga niya sa aton nagpalansang siya sa krus. Kagina, ginpangabudlayan niya. <laughs> Ikaapat, he proclaimed victory over the spirits or to the spirits. Siling niya, for, for Christ also suffered once and for uh, once for sins the righteous for the unrighteous that he might bring us to God being put to death in the flesh but made alive in the spirit and he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison because they formerly did not obey sabi ninyo Si Jesus Christ, even though napatay siya sa, sa flesh, but He continued to live in the Spirit. Bisang kita gani, no? Kung madula kita sa lawas nun natin nga, nga, sa aton dutan on nga lawas, hindi man na sila nga wala na, kay may sunod kita nga kabuhi, amoy inang, amo inang natabo. Amo na dito, sa dito si Jesus sa tempo, sa, sa cross, sa pagkapatay niya, ang ang veil <laughs> nga naga naga patunga sa holy kag sa holy ho, uh, holy of holies na nga nga kortina no na na no, nagani na divide no na, na split from top to bottom kag amoy na si si Jesus Christ <laughs> Si Jesus Christ nagpadayon siya pamangkot diin siya nag <laughs> dito siya dayon nagkadto di siling sa pulong sang Ginoo uh, he went uh, he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison ang ang proclaim dira hindi na siya uh, pagwali sa maayong balita but but it was a herald <laughs> it was an announcement kung natawa natin nila, hindi ina ang pag, pag-proclaim niya was not to to save. Si John MacArthur, nag, nag-apati siya, nga ini siya, nga mga spirit, gapati siya sa mga, nga ini, nag-refer sa mga angelic spirit, no, mga, mga evil spirit. Kay, para sa iya, amo ini, nga halin sang pagsugod sang pagpakasala sang tawo of which God had had proclaimed had uh, promised nga ang Ginoo magapadala sang anak sang babaye <laughs> nga magalapak sa ulo sang sang serpent which is a a, a ano na, representative of Satan since then si Satan was trying his best to destroy God's plan. Amula dito nga ang mga uh, kanday kanday Abraham, baw kapilay gito gitimtar. Ah, uh, kanday Isaac, kanday Jacob, <clears throat> and later on ang mga Israelites. Kag amo na eh, ang bisu magkabuhi sang insakto ang mga Israelites sa kaymayaan sang Ginoo nagpakasala sila that they were even uh they were even uh, exiled sa Uh, ano ni, sa, sa Assyrian Empire kag sa Babylonian Empire. Di isang si Jesus, ara naman, di gipulihan naman nila. Uh, and they killed him. Now, according kay, kay, kay MacArthur, si Linya mo ini, nga inyong mga evil spirit that are in chains, that are in chains, nagapati sila nga pagkabalo nila nga si Jesus Christ napatay na na, na pierde seemingly na pierde probably they were celebrating and then Jesus came and Jesus appeared kagin proclaim sa iya ang victory over sin and death amo ini ginahambal sang Colossians chapter 2 verses 13 to 15 silinga and you who were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh God made alive together with him having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands this he set aside nailing it to the cross kagario he disarmed the rulers 
and authorities and put them to open shame by triumphing uh, triumphing over them in him Nipakita niya, bangod sa pagkatapos niya, uh, appear day, uh, ang kamatayon dito sa cross. Amun ako no, he, pleb, he put them to open shame by triumphing over the evil spirits. May iba naman nga nagapati nga nagareferin na ang iya sa mga spirits, dala, sa mga human spirits nga wala nagpati sa Ginoo. Uh, para sa ila mo ini naghambal sila Luke chapter 23 verse 43 dumdum ka mo nga si Jesus Christ ang nalansang to siya sa cross nag may nagtuo sa iya nga isa ka katif kag anong hambal niya dito siling niya truly i say to you today you will be with me in paradise so sang napatay siya kay gin promise niya nga nga ang atong atong thief nga sa cross makato sa paradise with him so amo ning ilang nga basis nga nga si Jesus Christ went with him to paradise no kag diin ini ang paradise ila ini gin 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 refer kun kadumdum ka mo sang story ni Lazarus kag and the rich man kung dumka mo to may isa ka rich man uh, grabe grabe gid ang iyang uh, kwarta grabe ng magpa-parties grabe ng iyang attire kag may isa man to ka poor man uh, <laughs> grabe grabe man kalain sa iyang sitwasyon why siya sang kaunon why siya sang bayo pero amo amo ini napatay sila kag according sa Luke chapter 16 verses 22 to 26 Naghambal sila nga the poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. And the rich man also died and was buried in Hades. Being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Child, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner bad things. Now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been fixed in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able and none may cross from there to us. So dito may, may interaction between kay Abraham kag sa mga tao nga wala nag, nagtuo kay, kay Jesus Christ. Kag Siling nila posibli dali ng kanto si Jesus Christ. Kag while they're in paradise, dito siya. Dito siya nag, nag, nagpabalo sa mga, sa mga tao. Sa mga espiritu nga wala ng tuo sa iya sa mga, mga unbelieving spirits. Ang mga, ang mga butang nga gin-reject nila sa una, gin-panghambal sa pulong sa ginoo. kag ang victory man sa mga nagsunod kay Jesus Christ. Di ano pa ang si si Peter gin gin connect man niya ini. <laughs> gin connect man niya ini nga experience sa aton man nga salvation. Victory Kag pagkatapos sila niya because ang suffering ni Jesus Christ, we have also, we obtained salvation. So sila niya, when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 20, while the ark was being prepared in which a few, that is eight persons, were brought safely through water. Ang ginconnect man niya ang, ang salvation. naton sa time ni Noah. Isang time ni Noah, kung dumduman ninyo, 
Nagulat siya more than siguro ni 100, well, mga 20, 120 years. Uh, nga suffer niya, amak mo patindog sang, patindog sang arka, uh, probably ginasuyaan siya sa mga tao. Budlay-budlay <laughs> magkabuhi. Medyo nun mo for Milo Tani, one year or two years bro, 120 years, ang adlaw-adlaw, ginaubra mo lang arka. But he did it by faith, even though he suffered. Pero as a result, anong natabo dira? Naluwa sila. Naluwa sila. In the same way, siling niya, there is a 1 Peter 3, verse 21, siling niya, baptism which corresponds to this. So, ang pagkaluwas ni Jesus Christ, nga nagsakay sila sa arka, nga nagsalop-salop dito sa nagsalop-salom salop-salom dito ang ang arka sa tubig nga grabe ang ang balud <laughs> selinya ti naluwa sila ti parius man kamo sina now before kita magpadayon ang ang word diri nga baptism no kay naghambal dira baptism now saves you pero, hindi ini siya, buot silingon ang baptism, nga water baptism, nga ginubra na akong kaday laki last time. Uh, amu ini ang makaluwa sa aton. Kay si Linya Dari, sa 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21, not as a removal of dirt from body. No? <laughs> hindi iya nga baptism, nga kung magsalom ka, bakwa ang, ang higo sa imobayo. Actually, drab na sa Bible, may mga tao dira nga nga gin-baptize man, pero hindi isa luwas. And even ka si Apostle Paul sa Corinthians, sila nga, nag, wala ko din nagkanto ya para mag-baptize. No? Nagkanto ako dira to preach the gospel. So, there is a book of Acts, Acts chapter 19, verses 1 to uh, 3. Ang natabo dira, sila nga, it happened that while Apollos what was at Corinth, Paul passed through the inland country, And came to Ephesus, and he found some disciples. So he pamangkot niya sila, si, and he said to them, "Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed?" And and said, "No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit." Kaya natural ang pagpabaptize natin sa tubig. Tas hindi ina ang pagpabaptize sa Balaan nga espiritu. So napamangkot siya. Into what then were you baptized? Naghambal sila. They said into John's baptism. Kung manotis ninyo, si Jesus Christ was also baptized by John the Baptist. Nung kagpilaman sa mga sa mga disciples si Jesus Christ, gin baptized man to sila ni, ni John the Baptist before sila nag-follow kay Jesus Christ. And, and we know, water baptism ato, but It was not for salvation. Even gani sa time na sa mga sa mga apostles, may isang mga katawo nga nagbabaptize. Dari sa Acts chapter eight, ang sugod kita sa verse thirteen, may isang katawo ang alam niya si Simon. No, nagbelieve siya after nga nagwali si si Philip dito, and after being baptized, he continued with Philip. And seeing signs and great miracles performed, he was amazed. Kasi magisya ni siya man mo. Kasi nagabot si Juan, nagabot si Peter man kung si John. Kag nagpray si Peter kung si John, ano amano pa ang Holy Spirit nagabot sa mga Samaritans. Pero sa part yun ni Simon, siling sa Acts chapter eight verse eighteen. Now when Simon saw. That the Spirit was given through the laying of the apostles' hands, he offered them money, and said, "Give me this power also, so that anyone on whom I lay my hands may receive the Holy Spirit." Naglanto ablang sa bat ni Peter silingya, but Peter said to him, "May your silver perish with you, because you thought you could obtain the gift of God with money." You have neither part nor lot in this matter, for your heart is not right before God. 
So, makita natin nga gin-baptize man to siya. Probably gin-review man tong iya salvation. Pero ang posible, ang totoon gina iya. Wala gin siya maluwas. Siling ni Paul, Romans chapter 6 verses 3 and 4. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. <laughs> ang buot sa lingon siniya mo ini. Nga ang ang makita naton nga pagbaptize bala sa sa tubig like last time dito sa swimming pool wala na siya no amo na siya ang ang kitaon <laughs> nga simbolo sang natabo gid sa ato niya spiritually nga kita na patay sa sala <laughs> sa pagtuon naton kay Jesus kag nabanhaw kita upod kay Kristo no kag amo ina no gin naga desire na kita no naga desire na kita magkabuhi sang insakto no ang we too might walk in the newness of life. So ano pa? Ang ginambal niya dari sa 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21, Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, pero amoy ni but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Ang word ba lang nga appeal ni sa technical term ni nga ginagamit sa contract. Nga mo ini, no, nga nag-agree kita, no, nag-agree kita sa certain divinely required conditions before God places one into the ark natin, of safety that is si Jesus Christ. At least kita maluwas. And anyone who would be saved must first come to God with a desire to obtain a good or cleansed conscience and a willingness to meet the conditions, and that is repentance and faith, which kinanglanon get no, in order to obtain salvation. What's the lingon? Nagkato ka kay Jesus Christ. Kag nagagree ka sa iya requirement para sa kaluwasan. Kag ano ang 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 gusto ya nga maginuso gila sa ato mga sala. Kag magkatok kita kay Jesus for salvation. So hindi na ya ang baptism ang makaluwas or maka-add sa aton aton kaluwasan sa aton para makumpletong aton kaluwasan. It was the Lord Jesus Christ. Kadua but I think amo ini ang ang last nga ginubra ni Jesus Christ para sa aton amo ini he suffered to give us the right confidence siling niya dali sa 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 22 siling niya who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels authorities and powers having been subjected to him the one ang nga nagsuffer para sa imo kag sa akon is actually occupying a prominent position in heaven nga right hand that is a a you know, position of prominence or prestige the one who died para sa aton in humble dira is above all no? Kung magbalik kita dito, sinya, sa, again, basa akong kuliwat, ang 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 22, Who has gone into heaven and, and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers having been subjected to Him. Sa Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 to 11, sinya, dumdumun yun eh, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who though He was not in the form of God, uh, though he was in the form, sorry, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped. But he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant 
and being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on, the, on a cross. He suffered. He suffered. Pero siling sa Philippians chapter 2 verse 9, Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Kagapalakpak pa ang God the Father to the glory of God the Father. Mga utod, hindi man gigyakin ang lani Jesus nga obrahon niya ni parang uh, nga he will occupy that prominent position. Kay amo na ginaya ang iya position ever since the world began. Yet, gapati ako, he did that. He did that. Para nga may oportunidad kita to understand His love and power. Kay kapati gid ako, nga kung wala siya napatay sa cross, kag nagsalbar sa aton, hindi ni naton tanan-tanan maintindihan. Hindi naton ma-appreciate kung doon ano siya ka nami-nami. Kag we will still be in our sins. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 4 to 7 but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us even we were dead in our trespasses made us alive together with Christ by faith you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. Namanimod sa ringon ko. Kung wala si Jesus Christ nagpalansang sa cross, there's no way nga ma-appreciar natin kung do ano siya ka dako-dako, do ano siya ka nami, nami, do ka ano ka ka rich, <laughs> Uh, ang iyang uh, grace, kag iyang uh, kindness sa mga tao nga nangin object sa iyang uh, pagigugma. Though uh, for Christ suffering is uh, is necessary <clears throat> to bring us back to God. Kag ikaduwa para kay Christ suffering is necessary to give us the right source of confidence, especially during times of persecutions, uh, suffering, hardship. Mga utod, yung dumuni mo, nga kung ara kita galing sa kabudlayan, kabalo ka, <laughs> ngang imo maluluwas at to sa langit, kag ara sa posisyon sa gaong. Ilumdong ka mo dito one time, ang um, Si Jesus pala ante siya i-arestaron arestaron sa mga sa mga kontra niya kadaloon na to for crucifixion later. Si si Simon Peter nagkuha siya sa kwan nagkuha siya sa espada no. Kagin labo malang mang labo siya. Di si ni Jesus niya tagkuha na. Ya bini mo Peter kung gusto ko. Pwede ko ya kasumon legions of angels to protect me. Pero, i-allow na ako ni niya kay gusto ko na ang kabubutuan sa kamay must be done. Kagamuman ina, yung dumon ninyo nga po, <laughs> threaten ang aton kabuhi. God is way, way, way powerful that He can send legions of angels to rescue us. Pero habi ninyo, kung hindi man ginaya paghimuon sa ginuubod si Lingon, will niya ina, kag may reward kita in the coming days. Especially no, sa iyang uh, pagbalik di one. Kaya mo na gani, in their sufferings, madumdum ka mo sa 
pagtuon natin sa Book of Acts. Si Apostle Paul actually nag uh, naghimo sila sa first missionary journey. Ang dumdumahan ninyo dito pag cross nila sa sa Asia which is present day Turkey. Kagamuman ini ang ipangsulatan ni Apostle Peter at as of this time. So pagkat nila dito sa Antioch, sa Iconium, sa sa Lystra, ah, grabe dito nga mga persecutions kag Bacolod, no? especially dito sa Lystra nga ginbatogid sa yaha wala sa ginuntatan until ang mga tawo nag-convince, na convince nga patay na siya. Ah, pero si Apostle Paul bangon kag lakat man sa gyapo to sa Derby. Kagambis nga magpuli, magbalik man sila gihapon dito sa sa Listra, no? sa Iconium, kag sa Antioch, Opisidia. Kagamoy ni ginahambal nila. No? So when they had preached the gospel to the city and had made many disciples, they returned to Listra and to Iconium and to Antioch, strengthening the souls of the disciples, encouraging them to continue in the faith, and saying that through many tribulations we must enter the kingdom of God. <laughs> ah, amo ni ka natabo ti. Kung sakit kung bugbuga na yun ati, amo ni yung aton kung eh, kaintangan sa pagsulod sa ginharian sang ginoo. He can summarize ni ganing iyang experience. 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 4 verses 8 to 12. We are afflicted in every way but not crushed perplexed but not driven to despair persecuted but not forsaken struck down but not destroyed always carrying in the body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our bodies for we who live are always being given over to death for Jesus sake so that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So death is at work in us, but life is in you. Ipadayo niya sa 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, We do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Kay siling niya, for this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Light momentary affliction. No, <laughs> no patay ka na to, light momentary affliction. Pero siling niya, compared sa eternal weight of glory, bisan ka matayo na itong gali light momentary affliction panagyapon lang tawon because we look that kun if you look not to the things that are seen but to the things that are seen for the things that are seen are transient or temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal kaya mo na mga utod kung gusto kita maka-accomplish greater things sa aton nga, nga kabuhi diri bilang kristohanon we must be willing to suffer kay amo ina si Jesus Christ he suffered to bring us back to God and to provide us a big big source of confidence kay amak mo amak mo ihatag niya ang kabuhi niya sa imo how much more pagid ang iban lang gid nga mga kinanglanon na aton be it mga, mga TV or ano da pagkaon or protection sa COVID, uh, chicken, chicken lang ina, tanan-tanan. So mga utod, kamusta ka? Sige ka pariklamo sa ginoo sa mga sufferings ni mo, sa mga kabudlayan. <laughs> Hindi, ha? light momentary affliction lang ina. Kung you will remain faithful, you will remain faithful. God will honor us someday. Kagamoy na, no? Ang mga tao nga nangindako sa pag, nangin, father of faith na to, was able to, to impact the world are the people who were willing to suffer, were willing to be persecuted because 
they love the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang mga ganito, tandaan natin mga utod, Christ suffered to accomplish something great, not necessary for Him, but for us. Si Kristo, <laughs> nag-antos para nga maka himo sang dako ha? sa isa ka dako dako na hindi ya kinanglan hindi ya kinanglan ni muon pero kinahanglan kinahanglan ni muon sa aton or else mapaimpierdo kita Christ suffered to accomplish something great not necessary for us for him but for us so Therefore, if Christ suffered much because He loves us, it won't be much if we suffer because we love Him. Kung si Kristo Jesus ah, nag-anto sang dako, kay plangga naton siya. Ah, plangga niya kita. Hindi man siguro ginatamaan ka dako. Kung kita man magulo antos, kay plangga naton siya. Ito mga utod, suffering is necessary because that is a way for us to accomplish big in life just like the Lord Jesus Christ when He gave salvation to us even though hindi man gidya kinahanglan niya himoon ina. I hope in the coming days, I know kadamo-damo sa mga nagakalatabo subong sa aton nga lugar. Pero kabay pa nga ang aton pagtuo magapadayon lang. Because my Diyos kita who is now seated at the right hand of God. My Savior kita who is above all. Who is willing to take care of us. And in fact, even promised to never leave us nor forsake us. If Christ suffered much because He loves us, it won't be much if we suffer because of Him. I pray kita. Father, thank you, Gid, sa sini nga reminder. Kabay pag ay comfort mo, Gid, kami sa sini. Especially sa mga uh, mga kabudlayan that we may be facing right now or in the coming days. Lord, comfort us just continue to allow us to focus on the eternal rewards na ihatag ni mo sa amo. Now may the love of our God the Father, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and forever. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Here of salvation, purchase of God. Born of His Spirit, washing His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Visions of rapture never on my side. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect.
perfect submission all is at rest I am my Savior I'm happy and blessed watching and waiting looking above filled with His goodness lost in His love this is my story this is my song praising my Savior all the day long this is my story this is my song praising my Savior all the day long this is my story this is my song praising my Savior all the day long this is my story this is my song praising my Savior all the day long praising my Savior